subscribe if you would like to see other modified fairy tales in the future. Like this video, comment in the comment section and click the bell notification so that you're notified of new uploads. Also, look for the hidden globe in the video. Once upon a time, yet again in a nice neighborhood in Goanamut City, lived the Marquez family, which includes Dora, her mom, and her grandma. One day, Cole was out of town for a business trip, and when Dora, Abuela, and Eleanor were starting the day, they discovered they had a little food left in their refrigerator. Dora, this morning for breakfast, we're going to order something from Uber Eats, and then we're going to go to the store to buy some food. We have a little left in the fridge. Would you mind looking for food on Uber Eats for us? We are you're getting pretty hungry. Okay, Mom, and Abuela, I ordered three bowls of oatmeal from Henry's restaurant, and it should arrive at the house in about 45 minutes. In that case, while we are waiting, I was thinking, would you all like to go for a walk around the neighborhood? That sounds like a really good idea, Elena. We should go for a walk, and then have breakfast. Alright then, let's go. About 10 blocks from the Marquez family lived a high school girl named Goldie. Normally, she is very well behaved, and she is even one of the top students in her class. But sometimes, she would misbehave, even acting like an entitled Karen at times. One day, Goldie was about to go for a walk around the neighborhood before getting started on her homework. Now, remember, don't stay out too long because you have a lot of homework to get done. Okay, Mom, I will be back in no more than an hour and a half from now. And so, Goldie started going for a walk around the neighborhood. When Goldie walked past the Marquez house, she encountered a young man working for Uber Eats. Hey, are you Dora? Yes, this is her. Okay, your total is going to be $18 even. Thank you, and have a nice morning. I wonder what is in this bag. I hope it is going to be delicious. Wait a minute, I think I now know what is in the Uber Eats bag. It smells like oatmeal. And sure enough, Goldie was right. When she opened the bag, there were three bowls of oatmeal. Now, let's sit down and eat, because I am quite hungry. The first bowl of oatmeal she tried was originally going to be for Abuela. Oh my goodness, this bowl of oatmeal is over 140 degrees, that is too hot. Let's see if the next bowl will be any different. Next, Goldie tried the second bowl of oatmeal. Let's see her reaction. This one feels just as cold as the North Pole. How can that be? I have to try the last bowl of oatmeal. Then, Goldie tried the third and last bowl of oatmeal. Let's find out if this one is too hot or too cold. This bowl of oatmeal is absolutely perfect, at room temperature. And I am going to eat it before it gets gold. After breakfast, I am going to watch some Netflix. This is by far the best oatmeal I have eaten in many, many years. After breakfast, Goldie went into the living room to watch some TV, and noticed there were three couches. This couch is not very comfortable at all. I think it needs new mattresses.
This couch is more comfortable. But at the same time, it is too soft. And it makes me want to take a nap. Even though I had 8 hours of sleep last night. However, this couch is just perfect for my luckings, and I am going to watch a little Netflix. But wait a minute, I actually do feel tired, especially after sitting in the couch. I need to find a bed somewhere. After trying the three couches in the living room, Goldie decided to go upstairs because she was tired. First, she tried to sleep in Abuela's bed. But here is her reaction. I can't go to sleep in this bed, because like the first couch in the living room, it is not comfortable at all. I better go someplace else. Then, Goldie tried to sleep in Eleanor's bed. Is her reaction going to be any different? This is way more comfortable compared to the first bed, but I think it is too soft. There has to be another bed that is just perfect for my likings. And last but not least, Goldie tried to take a nap in Dora's bed. You know what, this bed feels just perfect, to my likings. Now, I am going to take a nap. And then Goldie went to sleep for at least the next 30 minutes. Soon after Goldie went to sleep, Abuela, Eleanor, and Aura arrived home after their one hour walk. Oh no, it looks like someone apparently got into our house. How could this have happened? Abuela, it's my fault. I forgot to lock the front door when we went for our walk. But in the future, I will remember to lock the doors when we go places. Obviously, someone came into our house while we are gone, because whoever it is has been eating out of my bowl of oatmeal. Same here, someone also ate out of my bowl of oatmeal. Same thing happened to me, except that the person eating my bowl of oatmeal ate it all. I guess I am going to have to update my profile on Uber Eats, and then add my debit card as my payment method. Don't worry Dora, to make up for this, I am going to make us some breakfast and then we will buy food at the grocery store. And whoever yet our breakfast has also been sitting in the living room. You can see that person was sitting in the blue couch. And that person was also sitting in the green couch, and even put the TV remote on the floor. And the same thing here, someone has been sitting in the turquoise couch, and forgot to turn off the TV. I better do it myself. After Dora turned off the television, the Marquez family went upstairs. I closed the door to my room before we left the house, but apparently, someone came in here and tried to sleep in my bed. Someone also has been trying to take a nap in my bed. Mom, Abuela, come over here. Oh, my goodness, Dora. That is who came into our house and ate our breakfast. And she, is even sleeping in my bed. Hey, you, wake up! Right, now. Excuse me, but I was was taking a nap. You know it's not polite to wake someone up when they're trying to sleep. Well, it is rude of you to enter someone else's house without permission. You know that don't you? Oh, stop bothering me. I am Goldie, and the rules do not apply to me whatsoever. So deal with it. Get out of our house right now, you entitled little brat. Or we are going to call your parents. Wait until you're in court, and my family and I will sue you for one million dollars. Wow, that was fast. I guess now we can get on with the rest of our day. We're hungry, so let's go downstairs and have breakfast. With Goldie running out of the Marquez house, 
The Marquez family would never see Goldie again, and they went downstairs to eat breakfast. And in the future, Eleanor remembered to lock the front door to the house whenever the family went places.